Hi everybody. So I want to get back to you because last month I started on a journey, Stop Soldier Suicide. It was 100 miles in the month of June and the journey kind of got away from me. Um, I didn't video or, or even vlog or post or anything much, but I wanted to get back to you and let you guys know that I did it. I completed it. I didn't think I was going to. Um, like I said, the month got away from me and there were times when you know, when you think at the beginning, you're like, oh, I got this, it's easy, three miles a day, no big deal. And then life comes along and you're like, oh, I can run it tomorrow, I'm gonna go to dinner tonight, or I'm gonna go to breakfast and I'll get it tomorrow, I'll make it up. And, and then the end of the month comes along and you're like, oh crap, I got three days and 27 miles to go, how am I gonna do this? Which is exactly what I did. And, um, it really gave me a new perspective on why I was doing this. And I hope that anyone that ever needs a little motivation or a little push reaches out to someone. You can always reach out to me, but reaches out to someone to get that motivation and that push. For me, my coach did that. And I think in the long run, the, the thing I was most concerned with for lack of a better word was was letting him down because we kind of been through this thing together the whole you know marathon and and all of that stuff so at the end of the month I still had 27 miles and three days to go and I'm not sure he was feeling it <laughs> he was he was definitely thinking Jen you should have put more effort into this in the beginning and I was too but in my mind, I thought, you know what? I really want to give up. I just want to quit. I just want to say, you know, maybe I could do a video about how easy it is to just kind of give up and there's always another day. And, and there is, there's always another day. But I didn't want to let my coach down. So ultimately, his motivation got me through it. And we did it. We did nine miles three days in a row and that was crazy in this heat and it was intense but it made me think about the fact that i almost gave up i really almost gave up and and i don't usually do that but this time because of the heat because of who knows what i almost had the speech ready like you know I'm gonna just give up this one time. And I, I realized that wasn't an option. Giving up wasn't an option. Just because things get hard, seek someone out. There's someone out there that can help you. There's someone out there that can motivate you, that can coach you through it. So if you ever wanna give up, find a coach, find me. Text me, message me, whatever. I'll be happy to, to, to encourage you and, and talk you through as much as I can. I'm not a psychologist, I'm not a counselor, but I, I got a good ear. So, for those of you that are struggling, soldiers or otherwise, don't give up. Don't give up. There's another day, and it might be hard. It might be really freaking hard. But you can do it. You can do it. You got this. Tomorrow's another day. You'll wake up. Something new will come along. Something new will happen. That's the one thing that's promised. Tomorrow's not promised. But change is. And if it's bad now, it can only get better. So I just want to let you know that, you know, that 100 miles, I, I got it done. And I'm proud of myself for that. I'm going to take a little break now. I kind of passed the torch, I think, to my brother. He, uh, I'm so, so, so proud of him because he is not really a runner. And he is doing, I forget how many miles, like, I, it's more than 100 in like six weeks. And he's raised money for this um, charity organization in North Carolina. So 
check them out on, you can look at it through my feed and donate to, to his organization. But man, that's just so cool. I, I love that people are out there hopefully getting some motivation and some incentive from things that, whether it's things I do or things that someone else does, because you can do it. You got this. Keep up the good work. Tomorrow's another day. Peace.